In today's tutorial, we're going to go through a little known panel called visualization. And visualization basically gives us a couple of dynamics display options. So I'm going to start by creating a few objects. And I'm just going to reduce the size of this cube. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to create a sphere. And maybe a cone. And move it up. I'm going to create a floor object. And now I'm going to apply a dynamics tag to these objects. Simulation tags, rigid body. I'm just going to copy and paste that over. So if we play this back, we get the usual effect. The objects fall down and collide with the floor. So we have a few different ways of viewing this simulation. So if I go to edit project settings and click on the dynamics tab here, we also have a tab called visualization. And I'm just going to check enable. If I play back the simulation now, we have all these kind of different um, kind of gizmos and display effects going off. So I'm just going to go through each one. So I'm going to start off with collision shapes. And this is basically showing us the actual geometry being used for this dynamic simulation. So if you look at the cone, you can see that um, even though the cone is high poly, this green cone is quite low poly. And that's the actual collision geometry being used to calculate. And the sphere is actually using a diamond shape, funnily enough. And I'm going to explain this in uh, future lessons. You'll also notice the color changing. So basically, uh, while the object is yellow and green, it's basically active. And as soon as it turns blue, that means it stopped moving. And uh, unless something else collides with it, it's just going to basically stay still. So this is what the colors uh, mean. Next, we have bounding boxes, which is uh, simple enough. It's basically the maximum extent of each object. So as you can see, this cube rotates and the bounding box grows to uh, accommodate the cube. I'm just going to rotate the cube and play back the simulation. You can see the bounding box is quite large because it's rotated and then it shrinks to the size of the cube. Uh, next, we have contact points. This is quite cool. So if I play back the simulation, we can actually see the points uh, the objects are colliding with the ground. Basically, um, kind of common intersection points. So on the cube, we can clearly see four black points for each vertice, for each vertex, sorry. One for each corner. The sphere is a bit simpler. It just has one uh, along the tangent, I imagine. And then the cone is using its low poly um, cone collision object. So we can see those points kind of jittering around before they settle, which is quite strange. And lastly, we have connectors. Um, this is a bit more advanced, but um, I can show you quickly. I'm just going to turn these objects off and I'm going to create a cylinder I'm going to move it up and I'm going to create a cube uh, probably could have just used the original objects but that's fine so I'm just going to go to simulate a connector I'm going to set it to fixed because it's one of the simplest types. And I drag my new objects in here. So that's basically created a connection between the cylinder and the cube. And these don't have dynamics tags. So I'm just going to give them, um, I'm just going to copy and paste those dynamic tags over. 
So as you can see, when we play this back, it kind of falls to the ground, and because they're linked with that uh, fixed connector, they're kind of moving together. And if I just go to my visualize settings, uh, turn on connectors, it's basically showing us the axis for the connector. And so it's pretty simple. We can go to the connector and make it always visible, which shows us the connector. This black um, circle is basically the limits of the connector. If I right click connectors and show help, it says displays connectors including their limits in black. So this black uh, sphere is basically the limits of this connector. And we also have some additional red lines. Uh, we're going to go through this more in detail in future lessons. going to turn everything back on and it's quite a mess but um, this is a very basic introduction to the visualization settings uh, not many people know they exist so they can be quite useful uh, please share this tutorial if you found it useful and thanks for watching